Hello, my name is JQ. I'm a professional makeup artist in the film and television industry, and today I'm going to be doing a stylized character makeup. You'll want to start by wrapping your actor's hair and securing it under your wig cap. Always prep your skin accordingly to the makeup that you're going to be doing that day. Make sure you fit and center your cap so that you have enough bald cap around the ears and the nape of the neck needed. I like to start by gluing down the center front of my cap with a silicone adhesive. Here I'm using Telesis 5. And then I like to use Prosade on the back. You're going to want to make sure that you glue your cap down in the back without gluing down the center so that you'll still be able to pull your rig out from that space. Just make sure that cap is really glued down. You're going to glue all the way up to the point where you would start to glue the ear and make sure you don't start that gluing process yet. This is going to be where you want to pull your rig out, where you pull the wig cap and string rig out from underneath your bald cap. And then finish going down. Again, except for the ears. And you can edge your cap, clean it up a little bit, get it off of your actor's face. Here I'm going to start the process of the ear and poking the ear through the cap and making sure you get that cap really secure behind the ear in that small space between the hairline and where the ear begins. These caps are vinyl bald caps. They are acetone based and therefore you must use acetone to get rid of your edges. And here I'm just refining and melting the rest of my edges down. Make sure all my flashing is gone, that I don't have any hard lines, and that there's no gaps in the adhesive. And then you want to start sealing your edges however you prefer. Some people prefer Beta Bond, other people use Prosade Cream. But what you're actually doing when you're sealing the edge is putting a layer of adhesive over it in order to seal it. And then you'll want to start your color cancellation. So I know that you don't always have to color cancel your wig cap, but I do it anyway, just to show you. And also to seal the vinyl cap. As the vinyl cap heats up, it will expand and Pax Paint is perfect to seal the cap and keep it from expanding. You want to start to paint your cap my character does not require me to have a completely realistic skin tone so I'm just going to give it a base level skin tone so that it matches the rest of her face enough to go ahead and start putting the makeup on top of that. You want to make sure the foundation of the paint that you use is matching otherwise the colors can have different levels based off of different tones that are underneath them and they won't blend well together. Once you get that down, you can start to paint your character makeup. So to be completely honest about this bald cap, it failed. The hair wrapping that I did underneath my wig cap rig was not the proper hair wrap in order for it to not fall into the undercut that my actor had. So it did end up shifting after it's glued down and falling, as you can see in the profile right here, further down onto her neck, creating a sloppy silhouette, something that just doesn't sell. So we decided to continue with the makeup and finish it anyway. And oftentimes the paint job that you do can really save you from an edge that you might have because you had a problem applying that day or 
in this case, the bulge of the back of the neck that shouldn't be on the bald cap. Um, you can use your paint job to disguise all of your mistakes sometimes and that's why it's really important to have all these different techniques under your belt. Everything from beauty to special effects. There is our clone. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to DM me and I'll see you on the next drop. Thank you.